So we're just showing you a clip of Vice President Harris during her stop at the University of Milwaukee earlier. And while she was there, there was a protester uh, kicked out for uh, interrupting uh, to talk about Gaza. Let's watch. Right now, I know what you're speaking of. I it? want the ceasefire. I but what about the genocide? Done. I want the war to what about the genocide? And I respect your right to speak, yes. but I am speaking right now. Woo! Okay, so that's what I mean when I was talking earlier about all of this happening in the middle of the campaign, the death of, of Sinwar. News Nation's uh, Bill Hayes is live from Milwaukee, where the vice president wrapped up uh, that event. So uh, protests in the middle of everything else. What's the latest from there? Hey, Ghana, well, the scene behind me looked completely different an hour ago. There were dozens of pro-Palestinian protesters out here, and this intersection was actually blocked off uh, by police in the area you couldn't get through. There was also students all around the caution tape trying to see what was going on. They were trying to see what the protesters were saying and also trying to see if they could catch a glimpse of Harris because she was in this building to my right, which is the business school over there, talking with students. And you played that video where that pro-Palestinian protester interrupted her and was kicked out. That is the sentiment that we saw out here as well. People who are very frustrated, they say that it is a genocide that is happening in Gaza and that there is blood on American hands. They want Harris to make a stronger stance. And many of those protesters told me they're either A, not voting, B, they are voting for someone that's not Trump or Harris, and then C, some tell me that they are voting for Harris, but they aren't necessarily happy about it, and they want to, uh, they want her to make a stronger stance on an end to the war. In Gaza. We did see her say today she wants a ceasefire, but for many of these students, they say it's not enough. Some people we spoke with say that she needs to say more before the election day. I think a lot of her voters are very much free Palestine, so I think that might hurt her a little bit, but in the grand scheme of things, her over Trump like, makes more sense. And here in Wisconsin, it is a crucial battleground state, but you can see that there are people who are very passionate about the pro-Palestinian movement, and so that may have an impact on turnout for Harris. Good May. Uh, Mills, thanks. Mills Hayes there in Milwaukee. So thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.